I'm the principal manager for My Water, Heat and the Coal Authority, where we've been protecting both people and the environment over the past 25 years. We're at the Dordan My Water Treatment Plant today, and here we're taking water that's being pumped out of the former Dordan Colliery, which closed in 1991. And the water is currently at 20 degrees. And it comes to the treatment plant here to be treated, the iron's removed from the water, and then it's discharged to sea. The water at this site, because of its form, will be used as the basis for a district heating scheme that will provide the heat for the big project that's being led by Durham County Council. We've got 23,000 abandoned collieries across the UK, so there's great potential for mine water heat to be used at other areas. The beauty of these type of systems is that the water that's flowed in to replace where the coal was can be used over and over again as a carbon-free source of sustainable heat. Hopefully this will be the start of other similar schemes and will move towards a future where more homes could be heated by mine water. This is one project that's being led by Durham County Council, but we're also working with Gateshead on a project. And it's really great that in these former coal field areas, there's potential to use the resources that are already there underground to provide a new energy future. And in the northeast region where we are at the moment, that links really well with the history of coal extraction and energy innovation in the region. We're now innovating to hopefully help with the climate crisis going forwards. This is personally really exciting for me. I've been interested in disused mines for 20 years. Started off looking at treating them and designing treatment systems. And through that, I realised the water was warm. So I started to make noises about the fact we could use this for heat in the future. And at the time, it wasn't competitive against gas. But now we've got all the new drivers of climate emergencies and the, the impacts of climate change that we're seeing. So it's a really fantastic time to be involved in this. And I consider myself really fortunate now to have moved through the process from the original research on the work to now helping with the development and delivery of these schemes for the future.